Greetings, this is Free and Air Real Mantra, half elven YouTuber. Uh, and I welcome you now to my critical role reaction. Tonight, all right, we uh, we go into Forsyth Dive, uh, episode 7, discussing up to 32. Now, if this start, the stream actually started a while ago. I've already missed some stuff and have paused, so this is. Uh, about 13 minutes behind. I'll try to go, like, wait till the end. Then the, we watch for it to uh, uh, to go on to for all those who subscribe, like, who are we watching? Sorry, so, to me. I've got mixed with. I do not own, nor do I, nor am I associated with Critical Role, its YouTube or Twitch channel. I'm just a fan, or any of those other online presence it may have. I'm just a fan sharing with other fans. Get out of the way. One of the like fancy black crates mm -hmm. and that's slip that's, it in a crate. Uh, and then I just ran Big into Odahan. Yeah. A yeah. Dilophosaurus. Whoops. Sorry. And that was the, when you were sneaking around, that was the second time that now, you realized that she had a magic Devil or or just rocketeer backpack. Yeah, the jet pack. Or something, or whatever right. that is. Yeah. Her, her shadow but pack. But it was dark. Yeah, her shadow so pack. We couldn't see it. Yeah. Her lucky shadow pack. Yeah, it makes makes One shadows, those, but we right? don't know <laughs> what it is or how it works. Well, it makes well, her, gives her the lucky shadows. It makes her her yeah, shadows. Yeah, but how do they? How does she make them? Is it do? Is it dunamis? Of Dun course dunam it is. Dunamis it's juice. the dunamantic juice that she's got in the juice. Yeah, juice. Is there Anybody dunam needs is there a dunamantic juice? tree? Oh, is there a dunamantic fruit? It's the potions. Oh, it's uh, the well, potions of possibility. Know? Yeah, but is there fruit now? Is there a dunamancy tree? I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> yes, that's how shit gets started. If, if you can pour <laughs> dunamancy yeah. juice in Ashen's head, <laughs> yeah. why can't you pour dunamancy juice on like a fig tree and have gravity fix? Try it out. <gasps> oh my Let's God, you can have gravity They ripen fix. and then they just go, Oh God. The big good lover in Laura this is awakened. This was not conceived properly. Just taking out seagulls above. Chopped out the tree. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ah. No, but seriously, if you could pour it into Ashton <laughs> and he's living with a dunamantic like properties, then yeah. couldn't you like grow plants from that same dunamantic properties? Yeah. You try to like take a bite out of a fruit and it just Science! Like, this is viable. Dimension jumps. We should definitely somebody try else's mouth. <laughs> Whatever we do, we should skip. Telefeed people? All of the Voice oh, of the Tempest wow. stuff and just focus on Dunamancy fruit. Yeah. There it is. I mean, we're in a plant place right now, so maybe we just... Oh. <laughs> we're giving to the druid. Ah! You have said the secret word, and you have to pull from the tower, from the Tower of Inquiry. Wait, wait who? Druid. Said the word. I do? Yeah. Dru druid? Nah. Juice? Nah. Juice Trees? Would have been fun though. No. Well, uh oh. Oh, what did he say? <laughs> what? Oh okay. yeah. Shake that furry tail. What did he say? <laughs> Tempest. Uh -huh. Tempest. It only has one. Tempest? Yeah, it only has one Tempest? thing. So. Why is this shit already <laughs> leaning? What the fuck? Okay. I can't. Okay, there we go. Did it fall? Oh, did oh. it start over? It did. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, new. It's yeah. new. Yeah. I mean, I know I watched it last time. Oh, what's your What's your strategy, oh, Travis? I don't have a strategy. Well, I suck at this game. You should have a strategy. In the mid, you went for a middle piece. Oh, Dave. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. Look, I'm Wait, not a dexterous person. Guy. I am all strength based. Oh god. <laughs> Are they oh, still really sticky? God. There's no way you can. No, 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 this no, is a freshie. A freshie that's not sticky. Get back in there. <laughs> Lecherous bitch. 41! 41! 41. 41. 41. Yes. Oh no. Yeah. Do I go sit down? Yes. Please get the teeth out of your me. mouth. Why? Because it's making me insane. <laughs> <laughs> if only you knew how often I hear that at home. <laughs> <laughs> because it's making Here, me insane. I'm gonna look. Insane. Look, this is a FCG flesh. Tongue on the first one. Oh, I hate it. No. Oh, I hate it. Oh, that's oh. actually. Yeah. All right, Question ready. 41. Yep. Uh, to any player who's been sent out of the room while secret business happens at the table, how do you avoid seeing spoilers from critters? From Joanne Hartnett. Oh. oh. Hartnett. Good Sorry. question. I have a great solution for it. We Don't stay look at social Twitter. media. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Don't kind of a, when that happens, we do have to stay on social media in order to not be spoiled. When the when um 
Dusk slash you was on. I don't, mm-hmm. we all like Jointly. did not watch the episode that yeah. night. Cause we are still pre-taped, <laughs> still pre-taped. So that makes it easy to um, kind of know ahead of time when to yeah. avoid it. Yeah, for, for a buffer at least. And then when that goes on, I just remind you guys, don't oh, watch it. Yes, don't watch, watch it though. Yeah. I, if because, I ever get my show, I think also like here, half the time when there's watch. a question, if, if you didn't I, watch I, the segment and you don't really know what they're talking I, about, so even if you myself. see it, I'm you like, don't really I, don't know if I, get, I don't know what that means anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I, and then I don't go looking. Yeah. It's a good tactic. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, robot. <laughs> hey, robot. Yeah. Shut down. <laughs> <laughs> robot. Good morning. <laughs> I'm a robot. If you fart in that thing, it's gonna be real trouble. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> oh no. Oh, hey, this That's is me. Um, You're so <coughs> thank you, Joanna Hartnett. And if I have an evergreen, no. And if if you have an evergreen question have for an evergreen our Tower of Victory, question. the word's not there. It's you not can there. enter it. There. Stop changing it live! <laughs> <laughs> you can enter it at gritroll.com slash tower exclamation point. They're editing the prompter. That, <laughs> I'm the worst person to do that too. Uh, yes. You need glasses? I mean, you, you, you need been, to wear my glasses? Not your sure, let's let's make this worse. That's a thousand miles away. <laughs> okay, back to. Uh, yeah, if you. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> you got this, Travis. Uh, so apparently, Odahan has mind powers, and she wanted something with Imogen. Yo, what yeah. the fuck is up with that? I don't know. She had seen you in the visions. Yeah, she she's in my you. dreams. She thought you were. You weren't called like the one, but she was like, join us or those that are ready or something. I like think that? it's just like, I know he's like, hi. That has a I feel like the little hard hat guys in Mega Man. I'm just like, <laughs> 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 that's great. You don't have to like <laughs> not make a face as we're like discussing it. It's true. Poker face is great. Um, <laughs> no, yes, yeah, she, she's, I don't know. She just has an army in my dreams. And then like the only thing she said to me is, that's interesting, mm-hmm. right? That's all she said to me so far in my dream. Stop. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then she's terrible. She's a terrible. Do terrible. you think? Do you think she knows your moms? <sighs> moms. What? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she she does. Like, does my mom? I can't, I'm, I haven't intentionally, I haven't called my mom yet. I haven't sent her a message. Oh! Oh yeah, that's true. I hadn't even thought about I, that. I know. Cause your mom's gotta be well, alive, right? Well, that's happening next week. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I mean, I, she's gotta be alive. She, I thought she was dead. I was told she was dead. I didn't remember anything about her. Like I thought she died when I was born, uh-huh. like in childbirth. Mm-hmm. And then I have a memory of her from when I was like, how old was I in that memory? You were, you were close to maybe one, <sighs> one and a half. Like you were barely toppling. So like, oh. a a memory that I would never have remembered. Mm-hmm. So she was around, and then somebody said sh- they saw her like within twelve years. Do you think like your? <laughs> 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 That was almost so dangerous, um, you guys. I know. They're wow. just like this. Oh, it didn't pop. It's making me thirsty. <laughs> this one did, though. I know, that was pretty great. I love the one around your neck is barely hanging on, too. <laughs> <laughs> so yoked. Yeah. No one Some can contain the willing shit. Lamb. I don't remember what the question that you asked was. What does she want with Imogen? I don't know. If you if your mom's still alive, why haven't you sent her a message? I don't know. Uh, I wh- do. Why are you the destroyer of worlds? Yeah. I'm not. Also, where did you go? Did Bitch you go birth. to the moon? I don't know. Did you? <laughs> yeah, we re- we reappeared. Why are you asking yeah, yeah. her? Yeah, you, everybody was gone. Uh-huh. Everyone was gone. And the buildings were demolished. Yeah, you disappeared Ow. buildings. Yeah, yes. so does Imogen have the ability to like, in the moment of like chaos, she oh. was still able to go, like make my friends safe I... before I destroy everything? Or was it some other force that like caused everybody to disappear? 
find safety within the mind. Because then, and then we just did the thing with Ashton. With Ashton! Then we were in his brain, but we're still in the room. Bro, that so shit you was can crazy. exist in two places at once. That shit was crazy. I was watching. <laughs> Being able to see him from the outside. like I was, was watching by myself. Just the, uh, I just started getting like closer to the screen going, what the fuck? I didn't know what to do. I was so weird. What the fuck uh, is up with that? What is up with that? What the fuck What's in the moon? The city? What's the city in the moon? Net? Is it a god? Is it a person? We is don't it, have any answers. Is it a bad city? Is it an old city? It's a space station. It's a forgotten god. Was it a, There's like, two unknown here. gods. What? I'm just going to give you like a little, does it go around twice? Uh, Answer bot. I'm thirsty. Oh <laughs> 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 I got it. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> didn't work. Fair enough. You're hi. Thanks. Okay, Do you want wait. some water, you're Matt? So what? No, I just I, had some. I could. Here. Yeah, I feel like you're you're, you're cooking like a what's no. what's that thing where yeah. you <laughs> put the meat in the bag and then it goes. I feel water. like oh no oh no look at this. <laughs> Please have a close. <laughs> 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 we're, we're like a charm. <laughs> Thank you, Marisha. <laughs> You're gonna drown your husband. The best part is, is robot costume. I can't even wipe my chin. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Thank you. Perfect. Happy Halloween. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I don't. By the way, we haven't explained what the fuck we're doing in these costumes. What are we oh. doing? It's Halloween. We have, to we have to explain. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Halloween. Uh, Halloween's oh, good. Um, <laughs> if you didn't watch the last episode, we drew these costumes randomly out of a bucket, uh, and now we're here in them. Uh huh. <laughs> so that's what we're, that's what we're doing. <sighs> He's a you're what a trash bot. I'm a trash robot. I'm a disco dino. I'm oh. a laser werewolf. <laughs> I'm an art school demon. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, nice. now we can continue with okay. what the fuck is up with what, that. Okay. One more, what's up the fuck with, I mean, there's a couple more, but. Yeah, let's go, let's go, yeah. let's keep the going. We got to talk uh, about, yo. Thoughts when <laughs> Fern, Orem, and Ladna all went down. In your brain, what, what were you thinking? We're doomed. I thought yeah. that the entire party was going down. And that was the closest we've gotten to like a TPK yeah. search. I yeah, 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 was, yeah. I yeah. thought that was it. Uh huh. But yeah. I, I told Matt this too. Like, I thought I'm always looking at Matt for like fidget energy while it's going down. Mm -hmm. Like, something that's like, oh God, guys, please find the thing that I'm trying to throw you. Or like, I don't know where this is going. But you were calm yeah. as shit. I was nervous. Like as a shit. dairy it did cow. It did nervous. not look that way. You, you were like, stoic. All according to plan. And that was wild, bro. <laughs> that was wild. I was like, this is it. <laughs> it's going it down. Was, it was interesting because, like, Odohan is a is a is a Odohan is an important <laughs> figure in the campaign, uh, and really? you know, wanting to like set the mood for a legendary figure and how dangerous they are, both from a historical standpoint and the capabilities. You know, you can only talk about it so much but when the opportunity arises for them to show that off. You know, you want you want this to be a, an interesting encounter. If it goes to combat, so be it. But putting signs in of how dangerous they are. Um, initially, when I built the encounter for this scenario, it was like, depending on what you guys do, this, there's an escape scenario. Like you said, a, a scatter or you know, possibly go by unseen and it becomes a manhunt. Maybe most of you get away and it becomes continuous manhunt or holding somebody as, uh, you know, essentially as a, as a hostage to try and draw the other, others back. Um, oh yeah, shit. And then, I mean, you got her pretty low, like I will say. Yeah. It was meant to be a very, very hard encounter, intentionally, um, but not impossible. And even just a few rounds that actually okay. some people managed to focus for a bit, like you took her down a pretty decent amount. And I had considered, like, at a certain percentage of hit point, she was going to leave. That's true. And you we know? all said, like, we're running. Yeah, that was the problem. Well, we all said we were running. Get away. Yeah, and then that, I think that was the problem is that we said we were going to run, so then, like, a some couple of us people ran. ran and then other people couldn't get away, and then yes. we weren't yeah, like, able well, to fuck. hit her, yeah, yes. and save the people that were going down and take the. It was just, it was. And just we were very far apart from bad. each other. Yeah. And Ashton was like off the map. He yes. fully got away. And in that moment that she did her like 
80 foot jump or whatever. Oh, dude. That was the moment I was like. Oops. Oh. Yeah, uh oh. Because I, I don't think any of us were expecting her to be able to clear that right. much. There are limitations ground. to how many times she can do a lot of these things. <clears throat> oh, she, sure. was, she was okay. pretty spent, pretty close to spent by the end of that encounter, too. <gasps> oh, but like the, oh, the initiative rolls were real poor. Yeah. And that, Fuck yeah. We got real well, fucked on they were yeah. that's, why, so I, that's why I kept telling you to run, too, because I thought once she called you out, I was like, oh, she'll chase after Imogen, and then who cares what happens to her? We'll all be alive. I mean, but yeah, I, but I that didn't happen. Thought that's what would <clears throat> no. Happen. She just stood and jacked everybody up. Like it reminded me of um, White Dragon in the first campaign. It reminded me of Vorgal. Oh yeah, when it landed, and we were like nineteen misses, and we we're like, "What? What do you mean?" Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah, you yeah. or Talison was like. Running is an option. <laughs> yeah. It was like early days for us, yeah. so we were like, how do we, we do, do that? that? Do that? <laughs> how do we get out of here? I know, here? and I think, I think the reason we all said, like, <laughs> let's run, is because I think we were traumatized from, like, Molly, right? Sure. And going like, this This villain is way beyond our means. Like, the smart move here is to get away. <laughs> yeah. And there's no getting and away. Get the yeah, there was good, the, there are options, yeah. you know, depending on what you guys want to do, but it's also hard to make those choices in the moment, too, when unexpected mm-hmm. encounters happen. Um, you know, a conversation was beginning, and then it turned into a battle, mm-hmm. a battle where everyone was kind of divided at the get-go and had a hard time, you know, coming together. It kind of reminded me of our old home campaign where, like, the group immediately after those the ghouls, ghouls, they all separated as opposed to focusing as a group on mm-hmm. individual creatures. They oh, all kind of... famous story. Yeah, yeah, focused on different creatures individually and just one by one got paralyzed and taken down to a near TPK, and it's... So it's a lesson in tactics and keeping those things in mind depending on what you're facing, but it also made for some great narrative moments. And it was one of those things too where like, from my standpoint as Odahan, the, initially she wasn't trying to murder everybody. She was trying to disable and figure out what the fuck was going on. You know, who are these people that attack the place? There's no, there's no good in killing anyone that has information if it's interesting. Oh, right. Yeah. But then the minute that she recognized you, for whatever reason, her interest shifted, and it became trying to to push you to a place. Right. And at first it was like, these are hired mercenaries, and then seeing the reactions and the camaraderie, it was like, oh, this is a personal connection. I'm gonna start taking them down. And push, <sighs> and push, and push. And, uh, but she she was pretty low, like, you know, given all the circumstances, uh, there were some good hits in there, and. I was like sitting here waiting for what was going to happen, and then there's multiple different like clocks going in the battle to see what would kick first, and Man. we got to that. See, I love that though because it, it after seven, eight years of playing now, we've never come close to a TPK. Like we've never yeah. had that. And I mean, not that, not that close. Not, not that. Bad. that you've, not, you've ridden not the that edge way. of the death spiral a few times. Yeah, but this one was. Yeah, real we had, dire. at one point there was. Well, there was almost four yeah. down because I went down too, and then came up mm-hmm. a teeny bit, but like. It's such a lauded thing in TTRPGs that I've never experienced. Yeah, like, so I feel like I feel like we almost earned half a merit badge by getting yeah. that close to it. Yeah, because that's, that's like, a good point. I lo- I loved it as a as a player because that feeling of hopelessness is so it's so rare when you have a character sheet with all of those spells and all these features and all these options and you've got like especially for us at a packed table like six seven such other a big party people like you're like we can we can handle anything let's just keep our wits about us right even at the end of the second campaign but yeah I mean there was a moment where I was like doing the math and the little bit of advanced chess and you're like oh shit this is bad oh no yeah yeah well, I know oh. you've talked about that too like <clears throat> we're bigger party that have also been playing for a long time. So we got a decent amount, much to you know the debated. Sometimes we are smart. Where's the debate? Sometimes they're extremely smart. Like you have trivialized counters that I thought would be much harder. That's that's the challenge on my side of things too. Is like, it's a large group. And it's a combat system in fifth edition D and D that begins to become unwieldy at a certain number of players. So there's a lot of customization that has to be involved, but without turning it into a slog and wanting to raise the stakes. We've been playing for years together, and you guys have done such a good job in the past of decimating encounters that I thought would be much more interesting and dynamic, and then trying to find ways to challenge you and raise the stakes. And we all talked before this campaign started, you know, what do we want to do? What are our focuses in this? And it was like... You said it was going to be more deadly. So it was going to be more deadly, more dangerous, because we want that thrill. Otherwise, if the stakes aren't there, that you don't feel the threat is real, then... In some cases, I know some people will talk like, well, we're supposed to feel like at least it's a safe space for friends. And I'm like, yeah, if that's, if that's what you all find your fun in, that's true. 
But for us, and correct me if I'm wrong, oh, but I feel that that challenge, that danger, also makes the victories that much more worthwhile yeah, because sure. you know you've actually earned that victory. It's not just me handing it to you as we go. And that's just the way we like to play. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean, I don't think it needs to be said for us, but if anyone, you know, was confused, I think we were all okay with everything that went down at that table. Y- yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's yeah. still a safe like space at the table with a bunch of friends sitting around playing. Um, oh, uh, and while it was, of course, dramatic um, and shocking, it was still fucking awesome. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. yeah. Like, we're close experiences to experiences that we haven't yeah. had before. Yes. Right? Yeah. Which yeah, is awesome. I mean, we're close to the characters because of time spent with them and the history and everything, but also, mm. like, especially this campaign, I feel like we made some characters that are, like, we're down to fuck around. Yeah. You know, like, uh, we want to see the crazy shit. Yeah. That's what we're poking everything for, you know? We're not doing anything safe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the previous campaign, everybody was, like, a serious character. We had a couple, like, chaos beings. Like, this entire party is chaos, chaos. beings with a couple of people that are like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's totally like a bunch of us running around booping the nose of the bull to see yeah. if it'll charge, and then the bull grows fucking yeah. eight arms and a scorpion tail, and you're yeah. like, I'm sorry! <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah. Ah, I regret it. Chaos beings and Orem. Yeah. 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 The rest of you are the rest of the cast of Arrested Development around Orem. Yeah. Have we, we talked how Orem has to have like he has some evil backstory? Something, right? right? He can't just be, be this wholesome, right? He's it got can't like be, a, it can't be this chill. He can't He's got be some sort of weird vice all. or some sort of deep dark secret. Inside check. He's a, he's a homicidal maniac. Right, I'm going to whisper it. He is yeah. out. He's, <laughs> not re- he's recouping a bounty on the voice of the Tempest. Sure. <laughs> Mark my words. I can't scratch my cheek. I got the note. Here, I got some claws. There you go. Thanks. If you don't mind, it's great. <laughs> 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 I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. That's bad. Put it in his mouth. Nope. Everything smells like balloons now. I hate it. <laughs> Balloon fingers, Willingham. That's what they call me. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is up with what? Well, there was really only one, well, not one, but an enormous part after the three deaths rolled down into just one, which was... Ladna's death. Oops, dead Ladna. What the fuck is up with that? Oops, dead <laughs> Ladna's. Oops, no Ladna's. <laughs> Oops, no Ladna's. Oh my god. Oh no. Well, I mean, okay. So sitting next to you, I think we all thought we were like, oh, there's a stair step of things that will happen, right? A couple of if thens before yeah. we know that we're really fucked. But at least we'll kick it off with a chance to roll a ten or higher where it's not <laughs> you dying like right out of Instant. the gate. Instant. One. My rudest die. A one. The fucking rudest die. That fucked me yes. on the willpower save. So and then you on the death wh- save. Yes. Fuck that rudest die. That was that unbelievable. Was I looked over and I saw it. And I, I leaned forward and then I looked back at you and I was like, that's a seven, right? Is, that's like, not a one. Mm, yep. We just nope, stared at each other for a second. I was like, even if it was a even seven, it was seven still, still dead. Still dead. <clears throat> yeah. Well, and that's the yeah, crazy you, thing with Laudna. Why, like, in the past when I've gone down and if, like, multiple one of us have gone down, I'm like, Take care of the other people first, because I technically have plenty of things in my toolbox to help get me back up. Yeah, which you'd already use. You have a lot of resistance to going unconscious, and then you have a benefit to get back. I have uh, strength of the grave, and then fuck. What's the other one? Creepy as shit. Creepy as shit. Well, there's Um, there's, there's the uh, already dead. The ability where where you gain a hit point if you're on a sixteen or higher higher on a death save. So you have a twenty five percent chance to get back up on a death save. Damn. So dang. Damn, you were. So that could have been way better. So I I realistically I could have, but she hit me when I was down. So that was two death saves. Mm -hmm. And then and then I rolled the one on the last one. So even if I rolled above a ten, the next time as long as I kept rolling above tens. I could have theoretically stabilized, stabilized, and, and bopped back up. But then, yeah. And can I applaud you again for the realism of, for that? Because again, over the past seven years, there have been times where like somebody drops, and you can like see maybe the logic of the creature being like, "Oh, that one's down. I'm going to focus on the rest of its friends rather than like stomping on it and making sure it's extinguished." That was exactly what she was doing because she was trying to get to her. Yeah, it was brutal. It was brutal. Well, I feel like she started. <clears throat> by just like knocking us unconscious. But yeah. then when we kept getting back up. Yeah, when, once you prove that you were becoming a nuisance and there was an emotional connection between mm-hmm. Imogen and the other people in the group, her priorities changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, it was it was. And, and for the record, Sam rolling uh, on the Rimify die, I, like the baseline DC getting like. Oh yeah, because you would have been bad. one lower, right? Then one nobody, lower, none of them would have got up. Yeah, and you would have had you would now be working people. to try and resurrect three people. Yeah. We went from like, oh, we've got maybe two river fives if it works. Uh, one of you one of them might scared. be able to roll out of it, so everybody will be fine. And you died on your first roll, so somebody was staying down. Yes. And then at seven, we were like, holy shit, we almost lost half the table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I only laugh because it's funny. And <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 well, still I mean, even in that death spiral there, situation, like to the point, lingers. what gets so tricky about it is instead of attacking, you have to make that choice to heal instead of attack. Yeah. But, but then, then you heal one, and they you get a hit again, and, and you're instantly down. And then it doesn't down. matter. And then it doesn't matter. So, and the gate's yeah, like where's one the, hit, but... And yeah. I, and I will say a little peek behind the curtain, too. Like, as a, as a DM for a campaign, when you're prepping combat and encounters that you are intending to be dangerous like this, it behooves you to know and recall what your players have at their disposal. And so you guys have a bunch of healers and people with the capability of getting other people up. You have yep. two people with Revivify pretty much prepared almost all the time. That's like, true. I have to push a little more lethal, otherwise that danger isn't there. And so for this type of encounter, you know, it's, it's keeping in mind that, knowing like you have some resources, I think you have some gems and diamonds, I, as long as they have the spell slots available, you know, if they're smart about it and, you know, keep those resources at bay, I can really lean into the, the threat of this encounter. And so, I don't feel bad. I think that was awesome. Yeah. Dude, it was great. <laughs> cool. What was wild too was uh cuz and you never really know like how emotional it's going to like hit you when you're like knowing your character is going to die. But kind of that I don't know, that moment that Ashley flipped the coin, the change bringer coin, which is also wild. That was awesome. And yeah. Yeah. and like in like <sighs> I don't know, and I guess everyone gets fatalistic and you just assume the worst, but in between the two games, the whole time I was like, I don't have a good feeling about this. I just don't feel like that's... What's that? I don't think I'm going to make it out of this. So I was already kind of rocking with that disposition, and then I leaned over and I whispered to you at one point, and I was like, they should really res Orum, like if they're going to res anybody. You did, yeah. Um, because... And what? And I don't know. I don't know a lot of shit. No. Nope. Like how she's gonna get but back you're not up? Typical. Or yeah, like. But I'm not, not typical, typical. <clears throat> right? No. Whereas, like with Orum, I'm like, I don't. I don't Death is but a doorway. I don't know. All once already. Hopefully yes. again. But I was when <clears throat> Ashley was like, "Sorry, Ladna. Like you'll find your way back to us again." Oh, brutal delivery. <gasps> oh, so good too. Because you oh. start with the name and then the rug pull. And then the yeah, yes, yeah, Ladna. She did it. She did. Awesome. Find our way back as to as painfully us. as possible. Oh. The, I was the exact opposite. I was like, I had come to terms almost with Fern and Orum, but I was like, yeah. Ladna's fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Marisha's lucky. She'll roll high. <laughs> <laughs> great. And like had not thought about it at all. And then like, so when it happened, it was like, I go, what? God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. And I, I realistically should have gotten, gotten back. No, not realistically, but I had... I was a little bit more able to. You had a better chance than most. Better chance than most. But I did have this like, this like wave of almost like relief and oh, relaxation wow. after Ashley was like, you're staying down. And I was just like, yes, <laughs> this was meant to be. I accept, I accept <laughs> this, this is fine. Um, but it was kind of crazy. And I was texting Danny back and forth, like off to the side, because like watching everyone else be so busted up and emotional, and I was kind of like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they, you get to watch they, your own funeral. It, it was that. I was 100%. like, this feels like watching your own funeral. Oh my God. And it was fucking wild. Like. Well, I also thought, like, <clears throat> I thought there would be some, like, Delilah shit, right? And I mean, there was actually really, no, really message. I really thought that, like, like that was gonna be the play. Yeah. Like we were texting. I we thought that rock. The rock. I think she's yeah. gonna like she's gonna latch onto that. We're gonna figure this out. And then like Delilah's like, no. Well, it wasn't <laughs> that. that. Remember, Just like kidding. she was like, do yourself. whatever, do whatever you need to or whatever it takes. But then also when the repose, when Sam did the repose. What was spell, that? She oh, was yeah. like, or, or you said you notice that something has been halted. 
or something yeah, well, has been stopped. God, what was the thing that's got stopped? And it didn't feel like it was just the natural decay of an already kind of dead woman. No, there's something else going on. Dude, <gasps> Delilah was doing the old body transfer. She was doing the old body snatcher. I don't even know. I don't know. You don't know. Is it? Oh is that God. still because the 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 stuff the thing he did only lasts like ten, 10 days. days or it whatever? It extends the duration of any like resurrection spells and staves off like undead transformations and keeps the body like held together and not decomposing. Um, you can still be dead. Yeah, and your conversations with with Delilah when you spoke to her definitely you weren't expecting an individual at least to of her repute to be seeming so. Powerless. Yeah. In this circumstance. No, I was not. Um, that's as much as I'll say. Damn. And I guess we'll see what the fuck happens mm. when you drag her body back to Whitestone. Uh huh. I mean, that was like God. we had. I think we were as we were discussing. Like, what are the plans for saving Lana? <laughs> Delilah was pretty fucking high up there, and then it was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, it's cool. We know <laughs> Estoros. We know. We know all these people. They'll know somebody. It's like <laughs> it's pretty yeah. rare. It's very, I don't have magic. Uh, here's the thing. Well, think about it. Like, like in, oh, in a logistical yeah. standpoint, if resurrection magic was readily available, so death, would, death would have no purpose in society. A hundred percent. And Dude. so, you know, aside from heroic characters that utilize it and high-ranking figures, even the people that can resurrect are likely paid or relegated to keep it within certain social circles yeah. or within certain noble circles. Or very rare circumstances. Power structures. Yeah. I had that that realization and just like, how fucked must this be for Orem in this moment? Because yes, God contacting Keyleth to bring Laudna back, but not when his, his husband died next yes. to Keyleth. Like, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't want to ask, and I was glad that he talked about it in the last session because I was like, did you not ask? Did you not ask about your <laughs> husband and your, your I'm father? Sure he had to have. But he said like the wounds or something, something about it. Something didn't work. Yeah. I, he, I'm sure some, he had to like Something do those about mental. the that assassination attempt that those that were killed were unable to be brought back. But that was Odahan and her shadow. Exactly. People, well, she didn't. Right? He didn't see Odahan. He just saw the shadow. He just saw the shadow. Shadow assassin. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So something. This like is that. a no. This is a no. <laughs> no. Did we I can't break it? it? You're too big for your costume, boy. It's no. It's really hard to snap. I got it. I broke it. Cut back on the awesomeness. Nope. Mm. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, so now. Nope. We're going We're going with the voice of the Tempest. Holy shit. Keyleth of the Arashari. I'm and just like. Possibly. I just keep imagining like Vox Machina, like, you know, burying Delilah, putting her in an iron box, throwing that into the deep ocean only for Bell's Hells. To be like, <laughs> Fuck your to be like, hey, <laughs> what's this? What, what if we, we open it? this up? Yeah, but also we really want to open it up, you know? Yes. Like, let's definitely bring her back, because she knows shit. Yeah. This isn't How complicated How many people from Vox Magna are we going to meet? I don't know. Oh, it's so exciting. It's funny, when you guys created your characters this campaign, like one with a link to Whitestone and one with Orm, a pretty oh. direct link to, uh, to oh. Keyleth, uh, I was like, there's probably like a, a fair chance at some point in the campaign they might cross over with Keyleth at one point. I'm a little nervous and hoping to try and like, you know, steer away from that. Well, we'll, we'll t to, to pay homage to it and also not turn it into an Essex scenario where it's oh, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Keyleth is our taxi. Yeah. And well, into that point, which I don't want to say too much, but like, you know, everyone's busy. There's all sorts of shit going on oh, in the world. Oh, yeah. Everyone's um, busy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, especially yeah. with the coming Apogee Solstice. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, she Ain't did sound pretty distracted. There's a lot of things going on in the world and leading up to that. Uh, but uh, but I wasn't expecting Keyleth's arrival to be as a means of getting a character to Whitestone. <laughs> so now I'm, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to figure out what that's gonna look like. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, we can't, I'm excited. I mean, we can't stay because we got shit to do, but also yeah. like, who all is there? Lord and Lady Dorolo. Yeah. Is Pike there? Is Pike the one that can do a resurrection? Well, Pike and Scanlan are thinking. not necessarily Whitestone. They're not together, but, but Pike settled in Whitestone. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, Jesus. And then there's Grog the Whitestone. Grand Poobah. Trinkets in Whitestone. Maybe. I mean, he could be out yeah. gallivanting, you know. Sure. Spreading sure. knowledge and joy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> going to all the children's hospitals. And <laughs> just <laughs> yep. making everybody uh, Living his best dad bod. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say, oh, ramification. I do, do want to see you just like, <clears throat> just talk to as, yourself as, as, as all of us. As all of your old characters. Yeah, don't think that isn't oh. been keeping me up at night. Can we just get like a <laughs> giant Costco order of popcorn for next week so yeah, we can just yeah. all be... <laughs> We'll make a list. Oh, Watch boy. Matt Mercer's Vox Machina, the one-man play. God damn it. <laughs> it was it's like we're all at Taste of Tal'Dorei. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, like ludicrous fishbowl drinks during the game. At the very <laughs> least, at the very least, I mean, I've been excited at the prospect of any crossovers with Vox Machina, partially because I've never been able to have campaigns concurrent in the same world, and all the time I've been playing in D&D because groups just dissipate. Yeah. But all but the groups I've been with have always talked about the cool idea of finishing a campaign, retiring that character, and then eventually possibly meeting them later on in future games. And it's always been something in the back of my head. And so now that we've been able to spend so much time in Exandria, this is the first time that we really have had a chance for the players to bump into an old PC down the line. And it's, I don't know, it's really cool. I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah. It was strangely emotional. It was emotional. Like, yeah. it's always fun to watch you jump into a character, though, but like, it was White a really stone. good Keyleth. And it, it was it felt like the so... instant visual of like seeing her oh. come out. It was like, <gasps> <laughs> yeah. It was good. It was almost like you know the person that plays that character intimately or something. Weird. That's weird. <laughs> uh, okay. So <clears throat> I've got one more. What the fuck is up with that topic? What you got? What is your favorite scary movie? <gasps> Ooh, good oh. question. Favorite scary movie. Hmm. Oh, I have a couple, but we have to just name one. Hmm. I really like The Descent. The Descent oh, that's is a, a good cool choice. That's one. good. The original British one with the proper that's ending. That's definitely a fave. <laughs> proper ending. Yeah. Okay. The claustrophobia of it. Yeah. I have a soft spot in my heart for the original Amityville Horror. Mm. Because it was one of my mom's favorites and we watched it every year. It's not the most scary, mm. but Favorite scary movie doesn't mean the scariest movie. Yeah, no, yeah. it's pretty great. What about you? <sighs> I'm tempted. I'm tempted to say oh. Hereditary just because it's one of the more Ooh. recent horror films okay. that really got to me and is like really well shot and put together. But Aliens. I grew up into this day still love the original Poltergeist. I had a feeling you were going to say Poltergeist. That's the original a great Poltergeist. Call. It's real, real good. So good. <clears throat> All the practical effects still hold up pretty well compared to other movies of that time. For and sure. Yeah, I was going to say I was fascinated by The Exorcist only because I had to watch it in like increments. Like, oh. I couldn't, couldn't do it. Same for uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, the original. Oh, yeah. That was a good choice. Oh, oh, I tried to watch it with my there. dad and ran out that of actually there, like, might be mine. <laughs> you ran out of never ending story. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. The only movies I ever ran out of in a theater were Never Ending Story and Jurassic Park, See, which I was way too old for. Yes. <laughs> like, I was like 12 or 13. And I totally bitched out on John Carpenter's The Thing. When those legs came out of the dog in the kennel, oh, I had yeah. a problem. This, this it's is a, a scary this is a, movie. This is another question. What are, the, what are the movies that you ran out of the theater for? Oh, those are mine. Those are yours? I didn't never run out of a theater. Well, fine. I really? Great. But, but I did. So my I grandma run out of theater. made me watch Poltergeist when I was like six years old. Yeah. And I, awesome. I, she was like six? sitting. I was sitting in her Don't. lap and she's like, we have to watch this. Go sit again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, I just should like watch yeah, exactly. theaters. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I was terrified and ended up kicking and screaming until she like released me from her lap and ran into the kitchen and she like held you hostage. My grandma was so much fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was awesome. Did you come back in and finish the movie? I don't. I mean eventually. I think I watched like from the doorway for a bit. So I have like wow. Flashes of the movie. See, I tried to come back in a moment later down the movie and the thing, and then they're like doing the defibrillator on the guy, and they're like clear, and his arms Your go chest. through oh. the dude's chest, and then the teeth cut off the guy's arms, and I was like, Dad! How old were you when you watched the thing? A little younger, like ten or eleven, I think. That's pretty young for the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm a big bitch. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. You're not. You're not. And the ring is just no favorite thing. jump scare. No <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough of this scary movie. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yours. I'm no, I ain't run out of any movies. Okay, never mind. You haven't run out of any. Never? No. I'm a tough ass bitch. You? 
uh, the original Ghostbusters when I was very young. Aww. At the moment where he goes, ready? You saw it in ready? The theater? Yeah. Wow. I was very oh, ready. young for yes, that. you were. Ready? It might have been like a like a back of theater or something ready? like that. I, I remember her. the memory. It was, it was the, ready? Ready? Get her! And the, Rah! I was, nope, I'm done. No, I'm out. <laughs> and the other one was Beetlejuice in the theater. Oh, the, the opening scene, when they're trying to scare the family, but they don't see them, oh, and yeah. Gina Davis pulls her face, face off, off in the yes. middle of the closet. Yeah. Nope, out of the theater. That is scary. Gone. Were you with friends no, or parents? They parents. Yeah. Did I, they come with you or leave you in the lobby? Next no, they came session? with me. Oh, okay. I eventually got nice back into the theater and watched the rest of the movie both times. But like, I would, that was the, those were the times that I ran out like screaming. My, My friend at Jurassic Park left me next to the concession stand. And the guy was like, <laughs> you abandoned you? did you leave the movie? And I was like, yes. And he goes, are you going back in? And I was like, no. And he was like, do you want some Reese's Pieces? I was like, yes. yes. <laughs> We hung out to the yeah, end of that movie. That's the cutest thing. <laughs> I love it. Yes. That. That's so cute. Oh. Yeah, my, my mom was enemy. born on Halloween, so okay. Halloween was awesome. always like a huge to do, even since I was a kid. So, all sorts of Probably, movies, only seen all as... scary movies. She started me young. She'd yeah. be like, "You're fine." Plus, she sees Get the ghosts. Get you in on this. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen Ghosts style. <laughs> <laughs> Puts on the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. All right, it's time for a poll from the Tower oh. of Inquiry. 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 Soggy gloves. One of us pulls a block from the tower, <laughs> reads the number, and Danny tells us the corresponding question and who asked it. And if the Tower of Inquiry falls, consequences will befall or befail for the one who ruins it. I need glasses. Rotted, unspeakable consequences. Oh boy. Rotted? Yeah. And so with that in mind, I choose Laura. Yes. Why don't you pull a block? I love like hiding pulling. in my box over here. <laughs> yeah. You're such a cute robot. You Thanks. really are. So Appreciate you're it. You're so adorable. This is a new tower, so you really can't <laughs> screw this up, right? This. Plus, you're good at this stuff. Oh shit. The doubts creep. Interesting choice. Yeah. I got no doubts. <gasps> oh, 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 did you see the slip? Yep. Oh my god. Ooh, the face. I do have I have too much Jenga comp I mean Tower of Inquiry uh -huh. confidence. <laughs> you mean Chenga. 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 Yeah. Uh, oh God. Uh, 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 oh God. One hand, never Both touch it with two. Uh-huh. Don't you forget the rules ever. Oh, yes. oh. That one is easy that to get one, back. Yeah. This oh, I need to say the number. It's number eight. Number eight. eight. This is already eight. so gravi gravity challenged. <laughs> <laughs> number eight. Whoever's up, Third. I challenge them to do that one. What? To, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Are we all taking turns on her or is it just one person? I don't know. Right now it's just one because I have to ask you a question. Okay. okay. What Love would you, be? You look cute as a You look so yeah, cute you do. as a I also picked last week. I don't know where the camera is. I'm very good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> where is it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what would be your character's minor day-to-day -day superpower? Examples, cutting onions without crying, always waking up on time without an alarm. Who can do that? Um, yeah. Never gets lost in cities. And this is from Duct Tape Wolf on Twitter. Duct Tape Duct Wolf, Woo. Minor. Day to day, day superpower. Day superpower. <sighs> That's pretty good. That is a good one. Us or our character? Our character? I think it was our char character. Okay, our character. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, Imogen can, um, she never has to change a light bulb. Uh, she can just bring him back. That's good. That's good. Dang. It's really helpful um, light bulbs start. Chetney's fingernails would be made out of adamantine, so he could <laughs> not, he wouldn't need instruments. He would just <laughs> claw and nail pick at wood. Edward scissor hands his yeah. way through it. <laughs> <laughs> just his fingers. That's pretty good. And then cut people. I feel like um I like that your day-to-day, -day, easy, daily superpower is, fingernails. To, is to cut people. It's not like Baraka from Mortal Kombat, it's just fingernails. Okay. It's more Ray from Fist of the North Star. I'm a weeb. Continue. <laughs> weeb robot. <laughs> weeb bot. Weeb bot, that's me. Oh. Baka Koi chan <laughs> <laughs> Go. 
<laughs> Help me. I feel like. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Ladnas would be like. As she walks by flower beds, flowers just wilt and die or something sad. That's just. Ooh, that it's sad? atmospheric. It's not a I don't know. It's kind of cool. She hates flowers. <laughs> it's like an ability, but that's rough. What's. <laughs> <laughs> What's, can I can't that? think of any happy superpowers. For Ladna? For Ladna. She never has to use a ladder. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, as climb. somebody who can't yeah. reach like tall things ever, yeah. I think that's cool. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty good. She could play like lots of contact sports and then just pop oh. all of her joints back into place. That's true. Yep. She'd be a good crash test dummy. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh. She makes her money doing crash test dummy, and that then she can out. then audibly, like, you know, give feedback. Give feedback. Every time results are sent to the client, they're like, oh my God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we gotta fix this. Please, we were safe. <laughs> Look at her. That's awesome. We really need to fix those. Uh, Estros. 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 Estros would want the, the day to day power to always bake the perfect cookies. Mm. Not a little too hard, soft, but not too soft, where they fall apart mm -hmm. when you pick them up. Like yeah, that, that know, perfect yeah. consistency yeah. that's hard to maintain, especially with large batches. That'd be what Soft you in the middle, but like crispy on the outside. Yeah, yeah. Can Basically like... A milk dip, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any of Queen Anne's cookies. Dip. Yes, her cooking is uh, unfortunately divine because yeah. I want to eat it all the time. It's really Next good. Level. Yeah. Next level really cookies. Q, Next if level you could sourdough. send some, some bread. Yeah, Q, if, you're, if you ever um, want to just make some bread yeah. for us. <laughs> Great. Send it some up. more bread, rather, because well, I've... the Pantheon. Hell yeah. Travis, why don't you pull with your gloves? Thank you, Duct Tape Wolf. Let's pull <laughs> another. Who should go up? And if you have an evergreen question for our Tower of Inquiry, you can enter it at critroll.com slash tower. I, I do the choosing You do here. And, My hat won't stay on. And because you aimed your Dilophosaurus spit <gasps> at me, you go. Oh, no. And your little gloves Fine. are going to get in the I'm way. I'm saving Matt for last because Fine. it just seems impossible. I'm here for hard oh, no. mode. Oh, no. I'm here for it. Maybe, maybe. Plus, I already, went, I already visited the tower. Um, I went first. You've got a feather stuck to your inner thigh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your oh, head like... almost knocked over the tower. <laughs> <laughs> it somehow went up my shorts. What yeah. is what is happening yeah. here? Pate okay. was shedding on you, I think. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> well, this one was real easy. Okay, well, oh god, oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, you got dino yeah, go, hands go in the way. It. Hey. Oh, she's using. Yeah, it that to... was the easy one. That was awesome. <laughs> Noise. That was slick. Disco. Be careful. Falls. What's the number? Oh. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> I saw it wibble. If you would have knocked it over on the disco, I would have laughed my ass off. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. If, if your character teamed up with an existing character in TV or film, who would best complement your character as a partner? From Aaron Young. Good question. Of uh, if your character teamed up with any character in media or from an Xander. existing character in TV or film. Oh, oh damn. Man. Best compliment. Nah. That's a hard, a really hard question. That is a hard one. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to join up with Bilbo Baggins. Oh my god. Oh hell yeah. Because he'd be like all idealistic and you know full of virtue, and then Chetney would just take the fucking ring. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe and like. Them all. <laughs> Danny, you can tell me if this makes sense. Like John Constantine, hot, oh. Oh. <laughs> so hot. Sorry, good pairing, good pairing. I'm still me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still me. If it was like a road trip scenario, I'd say Elvira and uh, Elvira. That would be dope. Yeah. Elvira and that's, that's a good one. one. That's a good. One. Both you scary, and Constantine fun. share a birthday. Very. You and Constantine. You and you and Constantine, me and Constantine? share a birthday. May tenth. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yay. Hey. Could join up with like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and be like, let's talk about where your loyalties lie. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Don't you're, tell you're, me you're not tired of his shit, too. Yeah, just help them reunite. <laughs> yeah. Bring him down from the inside. Yes. What about you, Laura? Jem. Oh my brain God, instantly cute. went to Jean Grey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just like talking like back and forth nonstop. Scarlet Witch is also yeah. an obvious oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like Jim. Jim is fun. Jim is, is fun. Yeah, that's less on Truly, your truly, yeah. truly. Good answer. Like Good answer. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Aaron Young. <laughs> And if you have an evergreen question for our Tower of Inquiry, you can enter it at critworld.com slash. Oh, that's stinky. Slash tower. It's, no, it's not. Yes, it is. I was going to put it on, but it smells. No, it smells more like balloons than like a, you know, salad bar at Olive Garden. Um, and if you, oh, I already I said that. <laughs> for the third time. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen. I thank Darren Young. The screen's moving around a lot. Uh, and now, and with that, <laughs> let's. Slide into the deep dive. No. Nope. Nope. Yes. yes. Okay. Ah! Yeah, yeah. 90s mermaid. You got some tubular questions for us to answer? I always have tubular questions for y'all to answer. Thank yeah. you. Hell yeah. I love your 90s blossom hat. Thank you. It was so great. <laughs> Wait. Probably should have done the robot last. No, no it's fine. Got nope. It. nope. There, I got my hand. Oh, yeah. Nice. There nice. we nice. Yeah. go. Hey, so it's so sharp. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Uh, so you know. we're going to take turns pulling questions from our tankers. Breaking the costume. And uh, uh, since I'm the tavern keeper, I will be uh, kicking this off. A uh, robot. Since you got your hands now, why don't you why don't you go first? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a robot. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. My God. Hold on. <laughs> you got it. Uh, what has it been like to introduce elements from Campaign Two, such as the Cerberus Assembly, Ludinus, and Dunamis? Oh. Uh, it's right? been cool. I've been sitting on this shit for a long time. Uh huh. I've been thinking about these threads since the beginning of Campaign Two, and I'm excited we're getting to them now. I have Wait, a lot of ideas going? that have been floating in my head since campaign one that are now starting to come really? together. Really? Wow. I've been, I'm uh, been excited for campaign three for a while. You can it's keep a secret, man. Yeah, well, it's just fun, fun little thread drops like that uh, make it fun because it shows uh, that one, your actions from previous campaigns have effects in future campaigns and the way that the world develops of Exandria. Um, and I just find it a fun time. So, yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Uh, clockwise. So. Clockwise, yeah. okay. Oh, God. Nope, nope, that's prohibitive. Prohibitive. <laughs> Marisha, what is it like to see Keyleth come back? But not be there at the table. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <blade>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like being at a in a fucking fugue state. The fucking state. That's what it felt like. I was like, what is happening? I they, I literally texted the group. I was like, this is really fucking weird. <laughs> uh-huh. hundred percent. It was very yeah. bizarre. But you did a good job being Kiki. Thank you. You have her weird, like uh the you staccato. She's still nervous sometimes. Yeah, she's much better than she used to be. She, yeah. has, she has, you know, she's, 30 years of wisdom since we last really saw her in campaign one, but it sure. doesn't make her stop being her. She's yeah. just a far more experienced, wiser, and politically uh, incorporated figure into the world of Exandria, mm -hmm. who still carries her personality. Her personality, yeah. 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 It was cute, yeah. it's good. Thank you. Now do Vex, do Vex! <laughs> oh. Shut down, oh. shut down. Oh. All right, I got one. Uh, Travis, <laughs> this is for me. Uh, Chetney had some interesting memories come back during the whiteout. <laughs> Can you tell us anything about the wayward romances or the love life that Chetney recalled? Ooh. Why, yes, yes, I can. Both of those names <laughs> did not ring a bell. <laughs> but you know, when you've been crushing like the big pun for 400 years, you can't really just remember two names. Mm. So, what you were know. The names again? I don't know. I, <laughs> I wrote them down. Deanna and 
Fresnella or something? Or the, it was an F Oh, name. those two. No, I got nothing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to remember. <laughs> nope. I got nothing. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go and meditate on it or recall some of my greatest hits. Mm-hmm. Imogen know. hasn't done a deep dive into Chetney's brain yet, right? Nope. You don't want to go in Obviously, there. Obviously, oh, no, that's... It's like mm. a greatest hits album that you can't like unsubscribe from. It's like Time Life doesn't even want that. She hasn't done a deep dive into anybody really except for Ashton. Ashton. People yeah. have I to. mean, like, that in the party, well. in the party. Holy fuck. Ashton's the only one who really gave consent for it. Ashton and... Uh, yeah. I think Fresh Cut Grass maybe as well. Yes, and Fresh yeah. Cut Grass. Yeah, she's not, unless it's somebody that Nobody that she's a friend with, she would just do that too willy nilly. Yeah. Until she goes evil and Until dark. she just does, yeah. <laughs> nice. You're up. I already pulled it. Oh, you I, did? I, I could pretend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pre screen your mug. I d- well, I pulled it and I didn't put it back. I kept it in my hand. I believe you. It, Laura. Imogen <laughs> destroyed the purple crystal Fern gave Laudna, but kept her own even attempting to use it to save Lagna. Yeah. What are her thoughts on this crystal? And how is she feeling towards it now? I've, I struggled with it because like part of me in that moment wanted to like keep it on Lagna. And I think if Ashton hadn't been like, I'm moving the body, I probably would have kept it on her. Mm. But then it was like, this is weird, it's gonna fall. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> Is it in the hole? <laughs> like this, this is in, oh, impaled in. Oh, Terrible. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> Stuff it in the yeah. yep. <laughs> Um So yeah, and then I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it underneath Joe's, and then I didn't. And then I was like, I'm gonna th- throw it off the airship, and then I didn't. And I don't know like why I keep holding on to it. You don't know why? I mean, she doesn't want to let it go. But at the same time, it's like. You know, I feel like that first one, like, kind of, like, started to make her feel a little, um, like, have, like, more erratic thoughts. Or, Insane in the memory. Yeah, made her feel, like, more uh, suddenly powerful. But, and now, based on everything else that's happened, I feel like that is such a small, like, tickle compared to everything else. Right. That who knows, maybe it's adding to it, but I don't think she's registering in, registering it that way. But she don't throw away magic stuff. No. Especially when you know that Delilah wants it so much. Yes. In these moments. Yeah. Good question. So. Good question. Uh, Is it my turn? Again? Yeah, it's you again. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Trobot. <laughs> Trash robot. I got it. <laughs> Trobot. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, okay. I did it. Matt. You've mentioned that you have conversations with players after character death to see what they want. What were those conversations like with Liam, Ashley, and Marisha? Was it a different experience than when Molly died? Uh, it's, it was the same conversation, generally, in, in my games. I mean, you know, it changes from table to table what players want, but, you know, I'm being serious. No, no, I know. Oh, little know. movements are fucking hilarious. I know. Um, but no, like the the purpose of my game, at the very least, and most games out there, I believe, are for the players to enjoy the game and have the most fun. If a player's character dies prematurely, I don't want to just tell them, "Sorry, they're gone," regardless of what you want. I want to open the opportunities for the different types of stories that can can progress from there, and be like, "If you really want to continue to pursue this character, I can find." narrative reasons and additional adventures and quests and stories and unique memories surrounded the recovery of this missed figure, you know? 20 minutes left. Um, to break. See if that is a possibility down the road. And then or I'll be watching. you could take this as an opportunity to Add. let that rest for a bit and try out a new maybe character break, and a new break, story. Maybe not, not or create a new character that continues your original character story in some way. Maybe they're related to them or had a history they with have them. New merch. So then the story keeps going, but, you're tr- but you get to experience a new character. These are all different, unique, fun things that players in the past have done in games that I've run and games that I've played in. And so I ask those questions every time. With Taliesin, Wait, I asked him that question. question. He said, no, Molly's, Molly's not coming back. Dang. He's like, I intentionally, he said he intentionally made Molly as a character that if he died, he's gone. 
Uh, and so I asked him that, and he's like, no, I'm gonna start working on my next character. And that's where Caduceus came from. And another great example of character death being a very, you know, harrowing but important shift in story tone and character bonding and, you know, intense buy-in to a narrative. And then out of that, a great character like Caduceus that no one really realized how badly the Mighty Nine needed him until he was there for a time, showed up. And so you kind of, sometimes that embracing that loss can lead to incredible opportunities down the road that you wouldn't see otherwise. But to that same point, I asked each of them, what do you want to do? And they all began to, well, all of them began to think of secondary characters, I think, except for you. <laughs> well, well no, you yeah, right. some, a little bit, you've been contemplating. I've it. got ideas, but also, I, I'm also not necessarily interested in Laudna coming back and just being a okay and being the same. Like for me, it's a little bit of like this weird Pandora's box of, and anyway, I guess we actually need to talk about it. We haven't talked because I didn't know what the group was going to do. Yeah, sure. And I still don't know what's going to go on. No, nope, there's there's still uh, what's in the box. What's in the box? Yeah, we can we, we can talk more, but like yeah, yeah. Pr- primarily, my question to you was, you know, do you want to continue to to pursue Ladna's story as, as Ladna? You know, is that the yes. most fun path for you? And you said yes, and I was like, okay, then we will. Incorporate a path to perhaps doing that. Yeah, but I want to see where it goes, but it doesn't have, mean it's going to be the same. It's not going to be easy, and everything has consequences. Yeah. And you get to choose, uh, and we both get to discuss where that leads, depending on the choices the rest of the players make on that path, which excites me. So that, and then Liam and Ashley made secondary characters, uh, but they they were kind of still deciding. And wait and see yeah, what they happened. were they were down the road a little bit. Oh yeah, well, Liam Ooh. Liam sent me a whole email with his write up of his secondary character. Of like he was like he's yeah, like, well, Liam we'll see how it goes. Always the most prepared of all of us. Yeah, when it comes yeah. To that. He had chose magical items and everything. I was like, all right, man. Damn, yeah. really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Come on now. He still got him on deck in case something happens to Worm and get down the road. Well, we'll, take we'll care see. Of Worm. I yeah. went the extreme opposite. Like, Vinny and the production team were like, oh, I, I need your d- description. We're gonna get art cooking immediately. And I was like, no. <laughs> I refuse. I did, yeah, but basically, and they're like, "But what? We need you to be on standby." And I was like, "I'll sit out as long as I need to." No. <laughs> and they were like, "But, but we should get it." No. <laughs> That's basically how it went. I said no. <laughs> I checked that. All right, your turn. I almost took a drink. Marisha. No. Do you have thoughts? <laughs> Do you have thoughts on what you might roll for another character? <laughs> <laughs> No. Or are you playing yes. to see what happens over the next few episodes first? No! <laughs> Pick a new one. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Marisha! What are your thoughts on Laudner returning to Whitestone to potentially be resurrected once more? Y'all, that shit's fucked up. Come on. That Come shit's on. gonna be fucked up, yes. and I can't wait to see how it goes. Oh, God. We did try um, every trauma, other solution. Trauma to wake up there again. Yes. No, it's gonna be fine. We tried a handful of solutions. And I am I am considering oh, all of that. Like what the the it's a lot of layers. It's a lot to unpack. It's a lot of layers. So and I still I just I still don't know. I'm kind of just waiting in the wings because I don't know what what y'all are gonna do. So Yeah. Or if we're or how gonna it, succeed at what we or do. Or if we're gonna succeed or how it's gonna go. And like I also keep thinking of the fact that like what's gone on with the ziggurat in the past 30, 40 years. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, sure it's all good. Plus there's only an apogee solstice coming, so I'm sure it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Here, hold my hand while I draw. Yeah. Ew! <laughs> oh, that's awful! <laughs> that's that's awful. awful! John Carpenter's the thing! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were Lord. being sweet! <laughs> no. <laughs> Laser <laughs> Werewolf doesn't want sweet. Laser Werewolf wants to get funky. <laughs> Chetney is a bit of a detective, sniffing out used double cross and guessing that Ira's arcade telescope was originally for the Unseelie. Yeah, well, respect. Yeah. Is Chetney amateur sleuth an aspect you intended to explore for him, or has this come about from role play? Guys, I played an idiot for my first character. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think just over time, like, A, there are some, you guys are really good at playing this game, so I've just learned from watching people do their thing, but also after seven years, there are, like, little things that just kind of pop up. 
the you thing was literally me watching uh, our friend uh, Patrick Fugit was in a show called Treadstone on <laughs> USA. And when they would activate like one of the sleeper cells, they would send the cell phone like a picture with a symbol on it. And they'd go like, and then go after the target. And I was like on the treadmill, like watching it. And I was like, oh shit. Oh my God. <laughs> that's She's going to kill her family. Oh. So that's how that's Oh, how yeah, because she had happened. the locket with the picture. Yeah, total. Wow, total I, didn't I didn't know that's how you connect. I didn't know that was how you. <laughs> yeah, I was doing something else. And <laughs> I, just was, happened I believe, and I was like, it. I believe oh, that. God. Um, and then the telescope <laughs> thing. I. I don't know. It just, uh, I, Fern is, I don't trust Fern as far as I could throw her, which is not very no. far, even though Chetney's swole for an old dude. Sure. <laughs> He's pretty strong. Old man strength. Yeah. Old man strength, yeah. But it just felt like the Nightmare King was just waiting to do something shitty. I just wish we had taken the little green lens and like looked at him before uh, we gave it to I him. I can't believe Ashton broke Ashton the fucking little broke it. the lens immediately. Oh well, I God. love how right afterwards he was like, if it's a magical item, you can't break it. And it was just, <laughs> Dawson's like, well, fuck. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was hoping we'd look at that him, expend was... it. We'd have to spend another day. We could like poke him with stuff. But... Yes. The funniest thing, this, this, this little trinket that was written into Written into Fern's backstory when Ashley handed it into Abria back in EXU. Oh, yeah. This this little thing, this little shrink, this little green thing that she's been carrying, and finally revealed, and immediately shattered. I was like, "Fuck your backstory." Yep, yeah, fuck your backstory. It's perfect. Oh. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, we could have used it so many wonderful ways. Yeah, I oh. feel like a four hundred year old gnome has a little bit of a. Insight when it comes yeah. to those things, so maybe we'll just call it that. Also, high wisdom? wisdom of the ages. You yeah. have high wisdom, don't you? No. Oh, no, really? No, I, no, high intelligence. High intelligence. Well, oh. yeah, oh. mediocre oh. intelligence, but highest the highest in the group. group. I'm the smartest fucking person in the group. <laughs> What's your intellect? My intellect? Your intellect? <laughs> <laughs> your intellect? <laughs> What's your intellect? I think it's a plus two. That's like a 14 okay. or 14. Yeah. 14. Oh, yeah, and Orem is 13. So, oh, yeah. yeah, before you joined Orem. Bow down, smartest. bitches. <laughs> we're we're going to be fine. Well, you're also, you are a good... God, we're idiots. Strategist. Strategist? Yeah, sometimes. Strategist. Strategist. Sometimes. sometimes. So it is fun to watch you watch a character, like, play a character that is Also, Calamity a wrecked off. me in a beautiful way. Because y'all had schemes and secret meetings and shit, and I was trying to figure <laughs> stuff out, and it was... Yeah. I left a mark. Yeah. <laughs> you're up. That was fun. Imogen, Laura, how does Imogen feel about Ashton calling her a superhero versus Chetney wondering if she is someone to be afraid of? Oh, yeah. Um, she definitely does not feel like a superhero. I think she's leaning more towards the Chetney vibe. Oh. There's a lot of uh, guilt there. Why? Why? <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Well, you know, it's it, this crazy powerful thing happened that you have absolutely no control over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it could happen who knows when. Yeah. But your role playing is Imogen after it has just been so good. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> I have crazy conspiracy theories about. Imogen, you guys. That you're not sharing with No, these? no, no shock. No, we talk about it all the time on the way over from the game. <laughs> I 100, that's okay. I don't want to call it. <laughs> I don't want to be right again. You don't want to be right again? <laughs> you're the destroyer of worlds. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you are the moon. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am the moon. <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> I am the moon. You're going to go again? Is it my turn now? Are we going? Are we keeping going? Oh, oh look out! Oh, no, 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 the teleprompter. No. Oh. oh, it says, ah! Oh my! Listen, God. did you hear that? It sounds like <gasps> it's time to pull another question from the Tower of Inquiry. Inquiry. Ah! Inquiry. Robot, sure. Robot. Oh, oh, oh my tanker. Robot. <laughs> Can't Can really stand turn up. Do you need help? Bring it. <laughs> Thank you, teleprompter, for moving in a very creepy way and the scary noise. Mm -hmm. How? Come here, Patrick. Oh, buddy. Oh, okay. my God. Oh, my God. I have I'm many so concerns. here for this right now. Uh, you got it, man. Okay. 
This is a this is a precarious tower. This this one this tower is already fucked. That's Laura's fault. She did you dirty. Huh? I went. Sad. Oh yeah 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 yeah. That's the one. <laughs> Let's go, robot. <laughs> ah. Okay, forty five. Forty five. We gotta go over there. That yet. reach is. I'm proud of you, robot. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah, robot. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you all know about each other's characters before C3 started? To those who coordinated their backstories, how was the idea approached? Sibzy at Tumblr. Um, how much did we know? It's been a minute. I think we shared we we shared what classes we were going to be so that we didn't have like overlap, yes. and we we knew going in that we didn't want to be as secretive as we were going in the campaign too. Correct. Yeah. Me and you, of course. Yeah, we chatted a decent amount. We ended up pairing up our backstories because we both wanted to be sorcerers. Yes. And so we're like, let's just be witches Witchies, together. Witchies, witchy bitches, and then everything's blue. The oh yeah. I put these back on. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, there we go. Oh. Um then of course like Orem and Fern went into EXU. Mm-hmm. So we knew a little bit more about them going into EXU first. Yeah. And then uh Talison and Sam coordinated and for Ashley yes, FCG they, they for their backstory. That's right. So yeah, it was kinda like like three sets of of, of Three crews that came together as a singular crew. Yeah. And then you fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> Bertrand was an, was an already established thing. Yeah. <laughs> I actually knew a little bit about Ashley's backstory before EXU because when we were coming up with our campaign three characters, I accidentally created a character that was very, very similar, similar to Ashley's That's character. True. That's right. And I was telling her a little bit about it and she was like, <laughs> That's me. Because <laughs> you're originally gonna have some like Feywald connection stuff, uh-huh. right? Yeah. yeah, and like the hag hag stuff too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. I yeah. had a different character originally b- before we even got to the Bertrand thing. That's right. Which maybe I'll save as a backup, so I won't talk about it too much. But I was oh like, God, yes. I was like, ah, yeah. I, I love guess. that character. I want to be. I want to be more chaotic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that yeah. Was like, do whatever. Yeah. Be <laughs> what you want, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you came out. You came out with Ford playing someone so like oh, captainy yeah. and yeah. leadershipy. So fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That. Done that. It's really hard <laughs> to play somebody that's like logical and and <laughs> reserved. It's hard. You gotta oh, be yeah. in the mood for that. How are you having fun with that? Yeah, it has to be. You have to be in the mood for it, and you have to be the kind of person that that in, enjoys that leadership position, whether it be because you don't get to be that in life too often, or you know, you just that sense of, of control in a group of people that look to that or don't have that, it can work out really well. But if, it, yeah, if you've done it for a bit, like, be, be Chetney. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Thank you, Sibzy. You got it. Is that right? Yeah. Thank you, Sibzy. Thanks, Sibzy. Let's pull one more. Does that mean from the Tower of yeah, Terror you from our mic? Go I was the first. Let's go try You're this off again. again. You were the first. Yeah, I went first. Oh, well, that's because you said the secret word. That's not because of. Oh, sh- 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 that's fine. I still say you got to do it with the gloves. With the gloves. Hard yeah, mode. Yes. Gloved hand. <sighs> all right, guys. I suck at this game. No, you're gonna do so good. That's not Come moving on. at all. Oh, oh you're yeah. gonna do it. You got this. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> 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 I know that fucking laugh. I know who that is. <laughs> I know who that is. And they almost got fucking elbowed. <laughs> I hate the fucking ring so much. That's amazing. I love you literally preface with how much you hate the ring. <laughs> oh, I hate it so much. Oh, God. You got it. 36. 36. God, my butthole is up inside my large intestines. <laughs> <laughs> you like how I just froze in yeah, yes. absolute froze. preternatural fear? <laughs> <laughs> Sit down so I can hide the dookie stain in my pants. Uh, one of these days, we gotta get you in a Bria and a, and a haunted maze. Oh, yeah. <laughs> son of a, yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I'm so glad I saw that before. It was right next to me. It would have been real bad. So close. You oh. got so close. Uh. Oh my god. 
How did you come up with your character's name slash does it have any special meaning from oh. Dylan Daniels? Ooh, oh, that's question. a good one. Yeah. Oh, I can actually start this. Oh, yes. So, Chutney <laughs> is not Chutney. <laughs> I have no relation, of course. They're not really the same character. I'm, I'm his character. last name. <laughs> have we talked about this? Oh, I don't know. Have we? No. Pockaby? I don't know if you have. Yeah, so, pa- <laughs> so Pockaby is... Um, when Ronan was growing up, he, there were only a couple of things that he would like babble or murmur or yeah. say. Oh, uh, but, oh, yeah, uh, but, uh, oh, but like uh, at a young age, she started going, Pockapi. And we were like, what's Pockapi, buddy? And we'd be like at the breakfast table, like eating. And then he would like look up in the corner of the room and go, Pockapi. And we we're like, no, 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 there's no sure. infant ghost that is named Pockapi. <laughs> And then I was like, hey, you know what Jenny's last name should be? Pockapi. <laughs> and Laura goes, you're going to give it power. <laughs> <laughs> you're manifesting it every time you speak it yeah, out loud. Exactly. It power, this so is what it's wanting. We, uh, we, we created this sinkhole yeah. ourselves. So there you go. Um, I love Poltergeist. Yeah. Pockapi. I had like a massive list for potential uh, like Laudna names, if you remember. Yeah. Because we were doing our Vanity Fair photo shoot. Yeah. And I had like a dozen, um, and ended up on Laudna because I wanted something. Laudna is in reference uh, in reference to laudanum. I've, I've seen a couple of people ask that, and you are correct. But just wanted something that sounded a little like weird and like hazy and Amen. yeah. She, I, yeah, I don't know. <coughs> Fucks with your head, mm-hmm. so became yeah. Ladna. Fucking Britney. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you really did just freeze. Yeah, well, you know, you could try and punch the <laughs> ring girl, but you might lose that hand. That's all, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say seven days, and I didn't see her eyes. Yeah, that's where if she'd have been in a white dress. If there had been a TV with static. That would have been worse. <sighs> oh. Let's stop talking about it. Yeah. You're just giving um, ideas. I don't know. I don't know how I got. You're just terrified. You're sure it's gonna happen again. It's a little when it gets too fucking quiet. I don't trust you people now. <laughs> <laughs> I just really like the name Imogen. Yeah, that's it. That's a good I just reason. Like the name, name Imogen, yeah. Yeah. and they wanted it to be like flowy and soft sounding, and it's it, it is. Yeah. And you know what Imogen spells backwards. World ender. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ruidus. Dangerous. Ruidus. Uh, thank you, Dylan Daniels. I'm going to squint. I, I feel like you, you keep forgetting that you're the host. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I don't ever. I don't know. You're just sitting here and he'll start going. <laughs> I got a lot of responsibilities during the day hosting, so not one of them. <laughs> Remember, if you have a subtly suggestive question for us, you can enter your question for the Tower of Inquiry at critroll.com slash tower. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break, but don't go too far because when we come back, we are going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Wait, we're actually playing Five Nights at Freddy's? What is that? Oh, oh what is this is cool. awesome. It's a great game. Why are you yes. acting like that? I don't know. Um, go to break. We're going to take a break. Uh, break, break, break. I'm what? Break. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role shop. Yes, I like. Could anything be more perfect? Not finals. This is pretty badass. Except it, but you know. It's too powerful. That one I didn't get in. It's so cute, I can't handle it. Style should not be I actually did get the end of game that day. It sounds like. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Taldore Campaign Setting Reborn. The definitive 5e source book that brings the land of Taldore to your game. Okay. We discover the land of Critical Role's Vox Machina with nine dazzling subclasses, five rich backgrounds, and dozens of new creatures, feats, and magic items. 
The future of Tal'Dorei is in your hands now. How do you want to do this? Not new. I pile this and end this recording. Here. I do thank you for joining me. This is Prima Ria Medra, an elven YouTuber. Here, with part one of my reaction to Deep Dive, episode seven. And as I recall, this is the 99th episode of my playlist. Please join me for part two, the 100th episode. Hey, critters, it's me. Marisha Ray. I had exactly a minute and a half of free time already, today, so, so I thought I'd make a little unboxing video for you all, unpacking everything you get with a Twitch subscription to Critical Role.